message do you bring? From Queen Cynthia. She says that she disagrees. She does? Well, take her this message. Well, it's a three-day ride. My horse died of exhaustion. I ran the last Oh, couple. that's a pity. Dear Cynthia, how are you? We are fine, but we strongly disagree with you. We are still convinced that parsley is a suitable garnish that livens up an otherwise drab plate. Well, I have Don't to you see you. I'm in the middle of something very important? Um, we anxiously await your answer to this pressing problem. Uh, your truly royal Queen Veronica. Now, you may go. Now, what is it? Well. Oh, look at those shoes. What? They're atrocious. Well. Shoemaker. Oh, morning. Um, Mother, I have decided that I want to marry a princess. What? Oh, well, I mean, I, I, sorry, I should, might, might, might to marry a princess. Oh. Out of the question. You know how we feel about having house guests staying in the castle. But I need a companion. I need a wife. Speaking of companions, we are not pleased that you and the fool spend so much time together. He's idiotic, he's obnoxious, and he is not funny. Father thinks he's funny. Sweet face. Shall I be king the rest of my life? <laughs> Yes, Fredigans, of course. Fantastic. That's a load off the place where my mind is. Good day. Well, can I continue? Mother, may I continue? Um, may I continue? Proceed. See, I need someone to love me. I need, I, I need someone who can... We love you. We've had a nanny tell you that since the day you were born. Please. Please, can I marry a princess? Please. Richard, Richard, Please. Richard. We want you to be happy. Not deliriously happy, of course, but reasonably happy. So we have decided to grant you your despair. Oh. oh, I see. Oh, well. Well, of course, she has to be a real princess. Uh, she has to be beautiful, charming. She has to have a proper pedigree, of course, and a good dowry. Most important, she has to make me look great. Yes, yes, of course. We shall immediately begin to make arrangements to find a suitable and a politically advantageous partner for you in marriage. From this day forth, I proclaim that all young men in the kingdom known as Robert shall henceforth be known as Buddy. Let it be written. Yes, my lord. And so the queen rounded up all the prospective princesses in the area and began that long process known as the royal interviews. Number seven, Princess Bovina of Agricola. Thank you. Next. Well, I will not marry a princess who smells like a sheep. She comes from an agricultural kingdom. And that other one, she had a dirty lip. That was a moustache, Richard. Oh, was it? Oh. Well, in any case, I don't want to marry it. Don't worry. I'll tell you who you want to marry. Next. So what he like? I think he liked me. I think he's positively dashing. Personally, I'm not all that attracted to dashing. I prefer cute. Number 13. 13, please. Oh, Oh, number 13. I'm number 13. Now you go in, and the queen and the prince will ask you some simple questions. Just relax, be yourself, and be perfect. Well, that appears to be it. I'm doomed. We've seen every princess in the land, and we've narrowed it down to these two. Princess Rebecca, Princess Elizabeth... We'll invite them back to the castle for further inspection, and then I shall choose between the two. Do I really want to get married? Oh, everything was going well, 
career-wise, uh, work some of the bigger villages, uh, a little street miming. Uh, oh, that's clever. Oh, yeah. Uh, some taverns. <laughs> and uh, nine years later, wham, hit the big time. Oh, fool, it must be fun to be in show business. Oh, it's a living. <laughs> Hey, how's your foot? Are you sure it's good to soak it in pig lard? Oh, well, it can't hurt. It just smells so awful. Good. Listen, who? Well, tell me a little bit more about Richard, will you? Well, Richie? Mm. Oh, he's a prince of a guy. <laughs> ah, ah, prince of a guy. Oh, God, I love that. I hate my mother. I hate her. I hate my mother. I hate her. I hate her. Hello, Richard. Hello. How's your foot? Oh. Yes, I know. <laughs> but it's getting much better. I'll probably be leaving soon. Something ghastly has happened to this room. I cleaned it up. Oh. You see, I looked it up in the royal handbook of what to do while hiding out. Uh, she's a real fine, this one, Richie. Wish I could find someone. Twenty-four princesses we saw. There's something not quite right about all of them. One had buck teeth. And one had the most extraordinary... Lord, well, perhaps better not go into that. Have you ever thought that the problem might just be with you? <coughs> with me? What extraordinary idea is absolutely out of the question. What can she mean? What she means <coughs> is that you would probably stand a much better chance of finding yourself a bride if you weren't so concerned with all of these superficial things. I mean, all you care about is title and pedigree and tea. Look, look. I am a prince, you know, with standards to maintain. We all know you're a prince. We do. Fool, you know he's a prince, right? Ah, uh, yeah, right, he's a prince. And I know you're a prince. We, we appreciate that fact. It's just that I have yet to hear the word love mentioned. I mean, or isn't that important to you? Oh, well, of course. If, if, if all the other conditions were met, then indeed, indeed, it certainly, it certainly might. You are an incurable romantic, Richie. Go away. Yeah, right. You know what I think? I think you don't know what you want. Look! I am the prince, heir to the throne. I am dashed nearly divine. Of course I know what I want. Who are you to talk to me like that? I am a princess who happens to be in the wrong place at the right time trying to help out a stubborn prince. A princess who goes around cleaning up fools' rooms. A fine princess of the plague on both your houses. <laughs> A fool who meddles is soon unemployed, if you get my drift. Uh, could you help me out of this, please? Stop. Easy. Oh.